Hi, I'm George, and I'm sure you're as tired as I am of all the standard music here on these music discs. I'm going to show you how you can change what's on a disc, make it a custom disc, and put whatever music you want on that. Let me just show you that real fast here. Here's a regular disc. That's number 13. Rather dull. And here's one I just changed. A lot better. Okay, I'll switch over to the desktop, and I'll show you how this is done. Here we go. We're on my desktop. And I've made a new folder here. It's on my C drive. I just named it Bedrock Packs. You can name it anything you want. It doesn't matter. You just need an empty folder to build things in. You also, of course, will need to have your new song. I have one right here. It's an MP3 format. This works best with MP3 files. And if you want to change the look of the disc, you'll also want to have some artwork for that. I just found these cat eyes over here. And we'll use these cat eyes to make the disc look different. Okay, that's our beginning stuff. Now we're going to need to see the extensions here, that .mp3 part of this. So if you don't see that, go up here to View, come down to Show, and check Phonem Extensions right there. I'm in Windows 11. If you're in Windows 10, go up to the View tab and put a check next to Phonem Extensions, and we're all set. Now, we need to have a few more files, and for that, we need to get a vanilla resource pack. We can download that. Let me show you that. And it's right here. So if you come to this page, just scroll down. Right here it says, how do I use add-ons? You want that link right there where it says resource packs. Or the easy way, you can just ignore this page and go right to the download link, which is here. Again, I'll put this link also in the description. Just click on that, choose yes. It's gonna download that link. Here we are. And I'll save this into that same resource pack folder that we're using. Choose save, and that's now taken care of. Okay, we have our pack. Not gonna bother saving that. And that's right here. Now right click on this new file and choose open in new window. There we go. Now there are a few things we need in here. First off, on this first folder, you want that manifest.json and you also want that pack icon PNG. So just right drag both of those over here and choose copy. Next, we need to make some folders in here. But let me show you where you can find the folder path for that. And then go into the sounds folder up here, scroll down, but come down here where it says sound definitions. I'll double click this. I'm opening this up in Notepad++. I'll put a link for that in the description so you can use the same program. And we'll do a search in here. And we'll be changing the cat record because it's the easiest one to find in the game. Go up here to search and find. You want to search for record.cat and find next. And that takes you right down to this section here. Now what I want in here is this bit right down there. This shows me the folders I need for this new sound file. So just put this up here. There we go. And I'll bring up my working folder right here. So I need to make these folders. Okay, so we're in here. Click on new folder. First one is sounds. Let's open that one up. And the new folder. Next one is music. Open that one up. New folder. Next one is game. There we go. Open that one up. New folder. Records. And then our cat record goes right inside of there. We'll be using this one to replace that cat record. So I'm going to right click on this and copy. We'll go inside that folder structure and then right click and I'll paste that in right in here. Now it needs to be called cat and not whatever the original name was. So I'll just rename that one cat. Okay, now we need to convert this file here. Let me change my view. We need to convert this file over into a .ogg or .og file format to use in the game. And for that, I like to use the free Audacity program. It's a great audio editor and it's free desktop application. You can use some online tools to do this conversion, but I've had kind of problems with those sometimes. So I prefer going with Audacity, which always works 100% of the time. And here's Audacity. Now the easy way to get a file in here is just to drag and drop from the folder. So I'll bring our folder back up again, right here. I'll just take this and just drag it in. There we go, and get this out of the way. Now I need to convert this over, so go up to File, come down to Export, and Export to OGG, or as OGG. It should be going back into the same location, and it is. Choose Save, choose OK, let it do the conversion. And there we go, that's done this, all we have to do with that. Get that out of the way, I'm not gonna save that. And there we go, there is the new OGG file. Now you can save or delete the MP3 here. We don't need that any longer. It's not gonna be used into the game, so I'll hit the Delete key, we'll get rid of that, and leave just the OGG file. Okay, let's go back to our working folder right here. So that's all set to go. Now the next thing we need to do is to change the name of the record inside of the game. And for that, let's go back to our zip file, right click and open a new window. This time go inside the texts folder right here. And here are all of the different languages inside the game. I'm in the US, I'll be using English 
us or en underscore us i need this one now it's inside that texts folder so let's go back to our working folder new folder call it texts open that up and then right drag your language file over here and copy there we go let's open this up i can get this out of the way right like that there we go open up the lang file and here you'll find all of the records in here as item dot record so if you're not right at that spot mine came up correctly but if you're not right there go up to search and find and do a search for item dot record find next takes you right into that section now we're going to be changing the cat and that's right here item record cat and the description after the equal sign you want to change this bit right in here I want this to match our actual song, so we'll go back to our working folder. And that's that one right there. I'll click into the name, right click and copy, back over into this file, right click and paste, and then choose save. That's now taken care of. Okay, if you want to change the look of the record, we can do that as well. Go back over to our vanilla resource. And this time, come down to textures, go inside of textures, come down to items right here, go inside of items. And then scroll down to the records section. There we go. We want to have record cat, which is right there. Now we're inside of textures and items. So let's make those folders over here. New folder textures. Inside of that new folder items. There we go. Inside of that one. And we'll copy this file, the record cat PNG. Right click, drag it over here and copy. There we go. We can now get rid of that. We're done with that. And if I pull this over here, you can see it's that little file right down there. It's pretty small. Now I'll be editing this inside of paint.net. You can use any image editor you want. Just make sure that it can use transparency, but paint.net is free. So we'll go ahead and open this one up and bring up paint.net. Okay, here we are inside of paint.net and I have my folder in front here. And just like with Audacity, I'll take this file and just drag and drop in like that. And there we go. There's the file. Now it's really small, as you can see. These are very small images. I want to make it larger, so I'll go up here to image, come down to resize, and I'll change the image size here to 64 by 64 pixels. Make sure you're set here at nearest neighbor, choose OK, and there it is. I can now zoom in on this a little bit, but it's a bigger file now, making it easier to work with. Let's now bring in that cat eyes picture, so I'll bring back up that folder again, and back to the working folder, and that's this one right here. Let's drag that in and open. There we go. And this is a lot bigger. So I want to make the height of this one 64 so we can kind of work with this thing. So image, resize, come down to the height, 64. Make sure nearest neighbor is set again. Choose OK. Makes it a much smaller file size, easier to work with. Move tool here. Click into the image that selects it. Control C to copy. Back over here to our disk. Now come down to the bottom of the layers panel right there. Make a new layer and then Control V to paste and keep canvas size, and there it is. It's too large still, but it's close. I'll grab a corner here, hold the shift key down, pull the corner down, and I can then make those eyes fit better. Something around here like that should be good. Control D to deselect, and we can then zoom in on this. Now I want to get rid of all this excess black that I don't need, so for that, I'll go over here, grab the eraser tool, use my brush size. You bring that brush size up a little bit, that's the right square bracket. And I'll just brush in here like this and take out the stuff I don't need. Make sure you do a good job here and get everything cleaned out around there. We'll double check that. You don't want to have anything showing outside of that disk or it's going to look like something weird inside the game. And just erase around until you see the other disk in the background there showing through. Okay, then I'm going to just kind of smooth those edges out here just erasing that picture now if you mess this up you can either you know undo or just pull it back in again either one okay i think that's pretty good back my move tool and i'm just going to put it right there that's where i want it that fits okay let's now save this out go up to file and save it should be in the same folder and it is i'm saving it out the first time here as a paint.net file just in case I want to go back, I have my layers in here. Let's now save it out as a PNG file. And that's file, save as. Change that to PNG. And save is going to overwrite the original one. Choose OK and flatten. And that's now done. It's all set to go. We can now get this out of the way. Okay, let's double check that. Textures, items, and there we go. Both of those files are in there. That's good. Let's change our view here to large icons. And there we go. That's the paint.net file. And that's our new one for the game. Okay, back to our working folder. And we're now ready to edit the manifest.json file. 
I'll be editing this in Notepad++. Double click. There we go. Now, two main things to change in here. The first one is the description, and I'm just going to change this one to cat disk. There we go. And then I'll select that, right click copy, and I'll put it right down here. Right click paste, make sure you leave those quotation marks in there. And then right down here, right click and paste. Okay, that one's done. Now I have these two UUID codes in here. We need to change these. These are basically like license plates on a car. Every car has to have different license plates. Every pack has to have different UUID numbers. Now, if you're just using this on your own computer, you're not planning on sharing it, then just change the last two numbers to something else and you're fine. If you plan on sharing this, and I think you will, then we need to get brand new codes for this. So I'll bring up a web page for that. And it's right here, the online UUID generator. I'll put that link in the description. Click on refresh, gives you a new code. Click on copy. Let's go back to our file. Select the first code up here, right click and paste. Go back to that page again, hit refresh, use another code, copy, back to our file, and select the bottom one, right click and paste. And that's all done. Choose save, and that's now set. Now, if you want to change the pack icon at the end, you can go ahead and do that. This is just a square image, and it's 256 by 256, and it's a PNG file. That's all that is. You can use your own if you want to, or just use this one. It doesn't matter. It only shows up just in the list when it's in the game. Let's now put this together inside of a resource pack. So choose sounds, hold the control key down, click on texts, textures, the manifest, and the pack icon. I'm in Windows 11, so right click, compress to zip file. There it is. I'll just call this one cat disk. There it is. Now, if you're inside of Windows 10, just go up and click on the share tab and zip. Same thing. Now let's change this zip over to MC Pack. So click into the name, backspace, and call it MC Pack. Click outside here, choose yes. You should see that icon change. If it doesn't, just go inside of a folder, back out again, and you'll see that new icon. It just refreshes that. We're now set to put this into the game, and that's real easy. Just make sure that Minecraft is not running, and then double click. It loads in Minecraft. And once it gets to the title page, it's going to import that resource pack. There we go, import started. It should come in pretty fast in here. And successfully imported cat disk, and that's all set to go. Okay, we can now activate this and then test it in the game. Come down to settings, scroll down here to global resources in my packs, and there we go, there's our cat disk. Choose activate. Let's go into active and double check. There we go, it's all set to go. We can now back out of here. It's going to reload that pack into the game. Choose play. There's my main world. Okay, there it is in the inventory right here. There is the new disk and our new icon on that. You can see it's in my hand. You can see that right there. So the item worked out fine. Let's go ahead and toss it in the jukebox. Make sure that we can hear it and that we see the new name on that. Okay, there we go. We saw the new name and it's working just fine. We have our new sound in there. And there's that disc with that nice new disc icon showing on that. Okay, if you like this video, hit that like button, click on subscribe, and I'll see you next time.